Um, if I never won an Academy Award, I absolutely would have had an amazing career. I, if I stopped today, I've had an amazing career. I really, really believe that. And I've learned to kind of, you know, find contentment, not complacency, but contentment in where I am. James may not understand what you're saying, but I do. I mean, you and AJ obviously have a connection and you're trying to honor him right now. Right, James? My question to everyone standing here is, is he honoring you, Tasha? Because when I went through this phone here, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was kind of thrown off by what was going on in the contact list, especially the favorites, because the first name I came across was Colette. I said, well, who is Colette? More importantly, what's her ringtone? So I played it. I don't know about you, but that throws me off because it's hypersexual. What's that relationship about? So I said, maybe that's the only one. But then right underneath it, I see Brie. Brie? Yeah, who is that? What's her ringtone? So I played it. <sighs> James, do you hear that? Let me see. Oh yeah, he's looking that up and down, no doubt. James, that's a little graphic. It's true. Well, disregard that. So then I started thinking about you. Your priority, at least I thought you were. But then I see your name at the bottom of the list. So I said, maybe he saved the best for last. Then I played your ringtone, Tasha. This is where it got dark. Ugh. Tasha, that's an apple chart. That's a factory ringtone. That costs absolutely nothing. That's the guy that you want to take up for? Mr. Generic ringtone from a lady? I'm just asking. Good morning, fellas. Oh, how you Jay, doing, what up, man? pimp? I'm doing great, it's like man. like a family affair right here. That's what it is. So yeah, I remember a conversation we had last night, and I meant that. If you're in there already, push that angle, you know, yeah. like. And then if you have it, and they're like, "Well, we'd like to have." Oh wait, where's where's have Stacey? somebody right. with a little oh, more weight behind then, you know. But if you're in there, work that. Like first of all, concentrate on the one that's huh? on yeah. that's airing. That's yeah. Be airing. You know what I'm saying? You ready? So this is like gonna be two years to the date reunion of of Ride Along 1. I mean, like, how does it feel to to just, like, be able to just execute right right after the first one hit to come right back with another strong I didn't one. realize it had been two years. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So. You know what? It, it, the reason I guess I didn't realize is because it kind of flows when you're having fun. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's been a fun two years. It's been a fun two years, and we got started on the second one quite, quite quickly. That's what it is. So yeah. right after the first one came out, we actually were already working on the yeah. script, and right after it came out, we set up the date to shoot the second one. So, listen, come on, man, it's time for the third. Let's bang these yeah, two out. Yeah, now yeah. we'll have two under our belt that will be successful, and get on to three. Yeah. I'm just claiming. You gotta claim it. I mean, and I mean, looking even farther back, it's been 20 years since you made your first film, and 20 years since you graduated from FAMU. Yeah. And to look at where you guys are now, like, what, where, what was the point where y'all almost gave up? Like, was it any point where you almost said, "Man, this, this ain't, this ain't for me," and I, I, I I'm gonna go try to do financial planning or something? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that. I definitely was going to at least things. I was gonna say, "Forget this. What can I get arrested for?" No, you know, I mean, we have very different journeys and stories. For me, um, it was straight out of college. I had an engineering degree and I was trying to make movies. Nobody was calling me back and no, you know, I was working completely outside of Hollywood system. That's, it, it felt impossible. And there definitely was a moment where I was delivering newspapers and knocking door to door selling newspapers. Cause that was my hustle because it kept the middle of my day open so I could make calls to Hollywood that wouldn't get answered or returned. <laughs> um, and during that time, there definitely was a moment where I looked and said, what am I doing? Like, does this make sense? You know, I have an engineering degree. I'm 20 whatever years old, and I haven't really made any progress in this industry to speak of. That was my thought at the time. But then I realized, you know what? Actually, I had done a little small movie at that point, and I had made some headway towards making my next one. So I said, you know, I've done more than some people, and I'm not ready to give up on my dream yet. And so I just decided right then that I wasn't giving up and I kept going. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, you know, things kind of kind of lined up. That's mine. See, my story, uh, 
it's weird. My story goes from, you know, through film school and then into indie films and then into music videos. And um, I, the, the weird thing about me is I never had a plan B. So it was kind of, I was either going to die at this or, you know, or at least that's what you think when you're young and you can yeah. conquer the world. But I just kind of always kept going. And luckily enough, you know, stuff happened in my career and you were able to kind of make a living at it. And you look up and you keep rolling. So I always just made it a point to just keep stepping, just keep stepping, never look back. Now, you've had a lot of success. I mean, you've done a billion dollars in box office seats. you got seven number one movies, and Straight Outta Compton has just got a PGA nomination. Yes. Yeah. Yes. With all the success in box office and everything, is the is the Academy, like, ever, is this something that you guys, like, want to get on your mantle piece at some time in your career? Do you want to get that, that trophy saying that you've kind of conquered Hollywood for that year or whatever? <laughs> You know, for me, I love the idea of um, making movies that resonate with people, real people, uh, but also can have critical acclaim. Like, that's the sweet spot. Um, if I never won an Academy Award, I absolutely would have had an amazing career. I, if I stopped today, I've had an amazing career. I really, really believe that. And I've learned to kind of, you know, find contentment, not complacency, but contentment in where I am. But that would absolutely be nice. No question about it. Because within the industry, that's the pinnacle, yeah, you know? Absolutely. So, yeah, I, I definitely am not saying I don't want to win it, but it's just not what would define my career. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's a great movie. I hope it's right along three and four. There you go. These, these characters have so much left that I could flip it and just call it brother-in-law next time. You yeah. know? Ah. <laughs> but love the movies. Y'all keep doing your thing. Always a pleasure, man. Thank you, man. Thank you.